hi and welcome and in this video we're going to discuss how to post assignments to your new Google Classroom course. Now as discussed in the previous video on creating a class and adding students, if you're planning to sync your Google Classroom with your gradebook, then you'll want to refer back to the video link in the previous assignment to learn how to create assignments for your synced course. However, if you're not planning on using the Wingage Google Classroom Sync option, then posting assignments is pretty straightforward. Now, as we discussed in the last video, there are three menus at the top of your Google Classroom course. There's Stream, Classwork, and People. If you want to post an assignment to your course, simply go to Classwork, and at the top of the page, you'll see a Create button. From the Create button, you have the option of creating an assignment or a question or reusing a post from another course. You can also create topics from here and I'm going to talk about that briefly in just a minute. If you plan to add a question, you'll need to look at the video in the next section of this course where we talk about how to create a question for collaboration. But for now, if we're going to just create an assignment, go ahead and click Assignment. Now, if you've been syncing your course with Wingage, you will have a draft copy of an assignment already in the classwork menu that you can begin with. And when you click on it and click edit assignment, you'll see the same view that we're seeing right now. Now at the top of the assignment, you have two options. You have four, and it shows the class period that we're currently adding this to. But if you choose to add this to multiple classes, then you can check off the other courses that you want to add this assignment to. And it will add them to the other classes simultaneously without having to do a repeat process over and over again. If you're syncing with your Wingage gradebook, you cannot do this option. So keep that in mind. You will have to edit each one individually. The next option is all students. If we click the drop down, by default, all students are selected. And I don't currently have any students in this course, but if I did, then I would have the option here of not assigning this assignment to all students but picking and choosing which students I wanted to assign the work to. And the reason that's such a big deal is that if you have students that are at different tiered levels of learning then you can assign tier 1 work to one group of students, tier 2 work to another group, and tier 3 to another group as well. So this really allows you to differentiate the work that you're assigning to your students on Google Classroom. Now on the other end, on the student side, all the students see is the specific tiered level of work you've assigned to them. They don't see anything else. So there's never any confusion on the part of the students. So go ahead and select your students. And then in the title section, we'll go ahead and give this a, a title. And I'm going to call this Chapter 1 quiz and then you can provide some instructions now instructions are optional you don't have to put anything here but what I suggest is that you go ahead and give your students some instructions so that they can get started for instance you might tell them how to open the assignment how to add work and how to submit uh, one of the things that I like to do is as I'm assigning work I'll say open this assignment Uh, click add to link a previously completed assignment click create to begin using a new document okay so what is the difference between these things well obviously open that tells the students to click the big open button to open the assignment um, and then add uh, and I usually do that in all caps so that the students are paying attention. Add means that there's a big add button so that students can, if they've already created an assignment in Google Docs, they can link that previously created document to this assignment. And then create, when they click the create button, it lets them start a Google Slideshow or a Google Doc or a Google Drawing that they can link to this assignment. So it gives them several different options. So you're not just pigeonholed to um, them doing one thing or the other. They, they can do any of these things anytime they do work. You can also have students add multiple documents to the work they're submitting. 
later on in another video we'll talk about how to make a copy of an assignment for each student so stay tuned to that but from here if we have more instructions we'll go ahead and add them here and then down below we have points due date and topic on the points you can make the point value anything that you want to I recommend that you align that to whatever your gradebook settings are if you're syncing with Wingage so if you're doing total points you know the point value can be anything that you want it to be uh, but if you're doing weighted grading you'll probably want to stick with 100 points on the due date if you want to provide a due date let's say for instance this is due on Thursday uh, but this is my first period class and I don't want them to submit this after first period so I'm gonna go ahead and add the time of 9.20 a.m. At 9.20 a.m., if they haven't submitted by that point, they can no longer submit under the deadline. If they do submit past that deadline, it will say late next to their name. Topic is something that's not necessarily new to Google Classroom, but because of the way the classwork menu works, it's an awesome feature that you'll want to use. So for instance, if you click create topic and then maybe you have a topic called daily work, then you can have all of your daily work assignments assigned to that topic and they'll appear in a cluster together. Uh, if you did quizzes, then you can have all of your quizzes for your course clustered together. Or maybe you wanna to do topics by chapter or unit, then you can assign the chapter one topic to everything from chapter one. What this does is it allows students to quickly find what they need for the work that you're, they're doing in your course. So go ahead and create a topic and then down below, this is where we can attach documents to our work. So if I click the paper clip, I can attach any document that's on this computer. If I click the drive icon, I can attach any document in my Google Drive. And so let's say, for instance, we attach this newsletter. And then you also have the option of clicking the YouTube icon, which allows you to attach a YouTube video, which, if you're doing a flipped classroom option, allows you to have a video that the students can watch, and then they can fill out a Google form to assess their understanding of the video later. And then finally, you have a linking icon that allows you to add any URL to your assignment. So if you're doing an assignment that requires them to do research on Discovery Education or another website like history.com, then you can attach those links here as well. When you're finished, you can either assign, which puts it out in the stream right away, or you can click the drop down menu and schedule this to show up later. Or maybe if you're not done yet and you need to come back and edit this assignment, you can click save draft and it'll put a draft copy at the top of the classwork menu that the students cannot see but you can still access to edit later. I'm going to go ahead and click assign and it will put this into my classwork menu and it's ready to go. Now notice at the top it's got a title daily work. So if I create any other assignments under the daily work topic, let's go ahead and do that now. and I give that same topic daily work to it then it will appear in the same cluster and so each time students do daily work they can go back to this cluster okay if I create a new assignment that is a chapter one test and I want to attach a Google form that is a quiz I can do that now a lot of people when they do Google Forms will remember that if you click the send button you can get a link to give to the students that they can then use to fill out your form but you don't have to do that here simply attaching the form to this document puts the form in the format that the students need to see so that they can fill it in and submit it as an assessment so I'm going to go ahead and find a test in my Google Drive Now because I clicked the gear in this Google form to make it a quiz, it recognizes that and it asks me if I want to import my grades into Google Classroom, which this is a huge time saver because 
after the quiz has been submitted and it's calculated the score and after every student has completed the quiz I will be able to click a button and simply import all those grades into the Google Classroom gradebook. So I want that switch turned on and then as I said earlier I'm going to make a different topic here and I'll call this tests and then I'll click assign. So now you can see in the classwork menu we have two categories daily work and tests and the assignments for each of those topics are clustered together as they should be. Well that's just a quick rundown on how to attach an assignment to the classwork menu. Um, next video we're going to talk about using the question option and we'll also talk about how to make copy for each student when attaching documents to your daily work. If you have questions please feel free to contact me or check out my YouTube channel.